talked about uh, Zadko Dalic and Luka Modric that Dalic is trying to convince him to stay. And after the uh, last match in the semi-final, I think he was saying his goodbyes to everyone. Still played today. Do you think he'll continue or do you think this is the last we've seen of him in a Croatia shirt? I don't know. I looked, I looked today as well. Again, I was trying to look. Uh, and, and again, I, I mean, maybe it's me. Like, I can't really read his, his body language. But he felt again like, okay, this is, this, this is it now. I mean, I, I can understand why Dalic wants him to stay, although nobody knows what, what kind of level Modric will be at in 18 months' time for the Euros in Germany. And by the time, he'd be 39. And I'm, I'm, I don't know if he wants to continue. You know, this is... It's a lot to play international football. You have to travel to all the international break, far away from the family, playing those games, coming back, playing for Real Madrid as a, as a starter, which he still is now. I don't know if he would be next season, but for now, for sure, he still is a starter and a big player in, in Carlo Ancelotti's team. And I think there's a point where maybe you think, you know what, I should focus now on my club. And, and why I can do that? Because I just can't do everything. I can't play for Real Madrid, then travel all around to play for Croatia, then come back to Real Madrid. You know, at 37 and then 38, 39, your legs are heavy. You don't recover the, as quickly as you used to. You can't play every three games. Uh, you can't play games every three days, sorry. And maybe you just think like, you know what, I can't take this anymore. I, I don't know. I, I, I hope that the, whatever decision it is, I hope it's an easy one because I think the problem then you can have is when you're half and half. Yeah. I, I half want to continue, but I half want to stop. And in the end, maybe you continue, but you don't fully want to continue. And I think if, if that's the case, there's no point because if Modric is not fully committed, it's not going to be as good as, as what it usually is, you know. But I can understand why it's a difficult situ decision to take. I can understand that. I think that tonight was his 163rd cap or something, which is an incredible number, I think, if that's right. And, and I think you don't want to let your country down in a way, but would you let him down if you continued in, in, because you don't know what kind of form you will be in? I, it's, a, it's a really tricky one.